As organizations migrate from previous versions of Microsoft Exchange to Exchange 2010, one of the challenges administrators face is maintaining a positive end-user experience during the transition period. Fortunately, the F5 Big IP with Access Policy Manager can help. During this brief demonstration, we'll modify a typical Big IP Exchange deployment to provide for a consistent and user-friendly Outlook web experience while operating in a mixed Exchange environment. Let's take a look at a typical login experience using APM. To start, we'll log on as an existing Exchange 2010 user, Beta. As you can see, APM provides pre-authentication and single sign-on to the Outlook web app. Now let's try logging in as a Legacy Exchange 2007 user, Xavier. Unfortunately for this user, the organization has already redirected its public URL to the new 2010 CAS array, and without access into the Legacy system, his connection fails. The Big IP we're working with has been configured for a typical Exchange 2010 deployment using the currently published IAP. However, to facilitate the mixed environment, we need to differentiate legacy users from Exchange 2010 users. To accomplish this, we need to modify the associated APM access policy. An Active Directory attribute, HomeMDB, identifies the database where the user's mailbox currently resides. All we need to do is use the Visual Policy Editor to insert a custom macro that queries Active Directory for this attribute, and then if warranted, assign a session variable. Using an AD query element, we determine if the user's mailbox resides in the legacy system. If applicable, a variable assign element is used to create and assign the session variable. The session variable will be used in an I rule to direct the legacy traffic to an Exchange 2007 client access pool. Rather than creating a new iRule, the persistence iRule previously created by the Exchange 2010 iApp will be modified. A series of if-then-else statements are inserted to direct traffic flow appropriately based upon the existence of the session variable. Legacy traffic will now be directed to the Exchange 2007 pool. Let's test the revised configuration. First, we'll log in as our Exchange 2010 user. Then, we'll log in as our Legacy Exchange 2007 user. Both users are able to access their mail from the same public-facing site regardless of where their mailbox is actually hosted. It's important to note that the name of the database where a user's mailbox is located is customizable and will likely vary. Since the AD query performs a string comparison on the home MDB attribute, it is necessary to first identify the database name. A quick way to accomplish this is to view the user attribute using the Active Directory Users and Computers snap-in.
As we saw in the last login test, both users were able to successfully access their mailboxes. But what happens when the user's mailbox migrates from Exchange 2007 to 2010? To find out, we'll use the Exchange Management Console to migrate our legacy user, Xavier, to Exchange 2010. Finally, let's try logging back in again. Like before, our user is able to log on through the same public site, but now is directed automatically to the Outlook 2010 web app. As you can see, utilizing the F5 Big IP and APM module to control application delivery provides the flexibility for administrators to migrate users on their schedule while preserving the end user experience.